Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video here, but I wanted to just share an updated StreamYard walkthrough of the dashboard of all the different uh, windows and different tabs and everything that's happening inside of StreamYard as of today, 2025, all right? And so I always wanna do a sort of an update here every now and then. StreamYard is one of my most favorite platforms, favorite tools when it comes to creating content, live streaming, all sorts of content creation. All right, so first of all, if you have not set up a StreamYard account, then head over to the link in the description. You'll end up here on the StreamYard website and you can get started for free. There is a free trial available. You can go through the pricing, but there's a free trial available here as you can see. And then it goes up from there to the core plan at $35 a month all the way to advanced and so forth. There's also, of course, team plans and also more enterprise business plans available as well. So, uh, but if you're just getting started, you're new here to the channel, you're new to StreamYard, you are found this, this video somehow because you're trying to get started with using StreamYard, then head over and set up a free trial. You can always upgrade later, okay? Now, once you've set up your free trial, you will then get into StreamYard, into the dashboard, and this is what it looks like, okay? So this is what my dashboard looks like. On the left-hand side here, I'm gonna pull up my marker. On the left-hand side here, you'll see that there's some different options, and I'll go through that really quickly. Bottom left side, there's also some other options. And then also, I'm gonna go through the My Accounts on the top right here, which shows a drop down, as you can see. And I'll show you what that is all about as well. Now, first, um, also really important to see that you can create three things inside of StreamYard. Really straightforward. Sorry about that squiggly line. <laughs> uh, but you can create a live stream, as you can see here. One, you can also record. Two, and then you can also do webinars, okay? More of a broadcast, more of the traditional webinar that you would do to do a sales pitch or a big presentation or maybe part of your funnel. You can do that as well, okay? Um, and then below that, you will then see that there are all of your streams and recordings here as well, okay? Both upcoming and also past recordings and streams as well, okay? Uh, I have a... Uh, recording room here, sort of my testing ground that I have set up here as well, which you may see me use in future videos. All right, now let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna zoom in to the bottom, the top right here with these four um, options. We have home, library, destinations, and members, okay? So first home takes you here. This is where home is. So anytime you're in a, in a page, members, destinations, wherever you may be. You wanna go back to the home page. You can click on home here and that will take you back to your home uh, dashboard, okay? The next part here is library, okay? Library, you see that, library. If you click on that, you will then see all of the different streams um, and recordings that you have created inside of StreamYard. So you'll see here that I have my library. Uh, you can also go ahead and of course, click select all. You can go into each one individually, for example, into this one. And then you can also- Hey, do, what's up uh, everyone? It's Rob Balasab is here. It uh, has been a little and, while since um, I've been live on my uh, channel, so I'm really glad to be here. Options, just got back from an awesome vacation um, in, in videos, Asia, but in I just the Philippines. Show you, that you have a library access here on the top left of your dashboard. The next section here is destinations, okay? Destinations is basically where all of the different endpoints where you want to stream into, okay? So you can see here, if I'm gonna zoom in, I have different destinations. I have my Facebook page, my LinkedIn profile, my YouTube channel, Twitter or X, Instagram Live, both for my personal and also uh, you screen, which is where I work. And then you can also create um, specific um, custom RTMP, which is basically uh, any platform with custom RTMP, you can create a destination out of, okay? And then to create those destinations, and I'll, do, I'll go in depth into this in future videos. If you do have any questions around destinations, let me know in the comments. But all you need to do is click on add a destination and you can see here that you have different options that are already built in by StreamYard 
different destinations that you can go into and, and connect to your StreamYard account. So for example, of course you have YouTube, you have also Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram Live, Kick, which is now in beta at the moment, Brightcove, Hopin, and then other platforms. This is what I mentioned where you have a custom RTMP. And if you don't know what that is yet, don't worry about it. Probably means that you don't have to use it quite yet. Most people are really using StreamYard for these top two rows here, okay? Which is already built in. You can also repurpose your content from StreamYard into these other platforms, into these other destinations, YouTube, Facebook page, LinkedIn profile, Instagram, and TikTok. All right, so that's destinations. Now let's go into members. Members is basically where you can add other team members, okay? And so for me, I actually have, you'll see here that I have one seat left. So I can add one team member to my StreamYard account, okay? You can always add more. You can see here, as you can see, the free plan at the moment comes with two seats. So for yourself and for a team member, this could be your content manager, your video editor, your virtual assistant, somebody that takes care of or is working inside of your StreamYard account. If you want more team members, you wanna add more team members there, you can always add and upgrade your plan. All right, so that takes care of this top left section. Let's go into the bottom left section, okay? So referrals. Um, referrals is really cool. Um, StreamYard is a fantastic referral program. Um, they also have an affiliate program, which is actually separate from the referral program, but either or, you can use both. Um, and so you can refer a friend and earn credits, okay? You'll get your referrals at the moment. Your referrals will get $10 in credit. So if I refer you, you'll get $10 in credit, and then I will earn $25 when you spend $25 on StreamYard, okay? Sounds a little bit confusing, but if you read that a couple times, it'll make sense, okay? So the person that you refer will get $10, you will then get $25 when that person um, spends uh, $25 on StreamYard, which won't take much, to be honest. It's uh, If they upgrade to the first paid plan, uh, you'll already earn that $25, okay? You can also then see all of your statistics uh, in terms of referrals, the clicks, the signups, referrals, and so forth. And then also you can see all of the different rewards, okay, at the bottom here. So very transparent, which I really like. Um, the other cool thing is that uh, StreamYard will also show you uh, your referral link. So right here, you can just copy your referral link and you can share it on social, email newsletters, um, wherever, you know, in your YouTube descriptions, wherever you have um, an ability or an uh, option to share a referral link <clears throat> to StreamYard. Okay, next thing is your team settings. So let's click on team settings. Okay, so this is where you can update your team name. You can also set yourself, set the account to automatically delete recordings once the storage limit is reached. You can also add authentication, single sign-on and certain things like that. For somebody that's starting out with StreamYard, you don't really need to worry about these options at the moment. Uh, you can also then go into the billing tab here. Right now, as you can see, this test plan, this is a test account that I'm using for this video. It's on the free plan, so you can click to upgrade here. It'll show you the number of seats that you have available and are using. It also shows you the amount of storage that you have available and are using, how much streaming uh, time you have available and are using. So it's a really quick snapshot of that as well, okay? You can see your billing information as well as your invoices if you have to share them with your accountant, okay? Very, very important page, okay? The next tab here is system status. This is really cool, actually. If you see that, hey, what's going on with my StreamYard account? It's a little bit slow, or I'm not able to access StreamYard for whatever reason, or when I'm live streaming, I just got cut off, disconnected, you can take a look at this status page to see if there's any known bugs or any known downtime or anything happening with StreamYard. StreamYard is pretty good. It's a pretty solid platform. You can see here that there hasn't been any incidents reported for the last little while. Uh, you can also tell when I've recorded this video because of the dates here, okay? So that's a really important page if anything does come up, okay? 
The next thing here is storage. Really quick, they have 31 minutes of store out of 45 uh, out of five hours of storage used. Um, you can see here it explains to you when you highlight over the question mark what that means, and you can always have the ability to add more. Okay, so you can click on add more, and you will then be able to upgrade to add more storage. Okay, so now we've covered, I'm gonna X out what we've covered here. We've covered, how do we get back to the homepage? Remember, just click on home. Okay, so we have covered this top left section. We've also covered this bottom left section. And so now we're gonna go over here to the my accounts on the top right. You'll see that there, okay? Right there. Okay, so let's go over there, check it out. Okay, whoop. All right, so let's click on my account, okay? First, you'll see my email address, no secret here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email my Gmail directly and uh, happy to answer any questions you may have. I might create another video uh, about it. I'm also really curious if you guys would find any value in me creating some type of community or WhatsApp group or something around StreamYard or live streaming or creating content. Would love to know. Um, been thinking about creating something like that, perhaps at a very low cost, um, you know, a few dollars a month, and then it's some place that you can jump into and ask questions, and I will hop on there. I'm thinking I might hop on there a couple times a month, a week, and answer questions or maybe create some videos. But let me know if that's something that's interesting to you. Um, I know it's always really hard to find a community where you can kind of lock in and uh, plug into, you know, a community of other creators. Uh, kind of doing similar things. So let me know if that's something that's interesting to you and um, I may launch something like that. Okay, so as we click on that, you'll see here that there's a bunch of little things. So a lot of these um, options on the right hand side in your My Account dropdown is actually very repetitive to what's already on the left hand side that we went over. So you'll see referrals. You've seen that before, showed that to you earlier. So that's just there again. Team settings, again, very similar. It's actually exactly the same, uh, just another uh, access point. Yeah, billing as well, so very similar to earlier. Okay, you can see all your invoices and so forth. Account settings, um, this is a little bit different, so you can go in and your email address, you can connect to a social login if you like. I have Google, uh, your language, you can set your language and also your time format. Very, very uh, simple. Uh, and if you ever want to, you can delete your account from here. Okay, delete your account. Okay. Next thing, you can switch to dark mode. This is really cool. I tend to like the dark mode, but today I'm just going with the light mode instead. Okay, dark mode, light mode. Um, I'm gonna move my camera window here just a second so you can see everything. There we go. And so the next thing that you'll see here is contacts. So you can click on contact and you'll get into customer support. So you can click on help, you can submit a request, okay? Uh, this is really a support page. So it kind of goes to support page. If you need the address for StreamYard for some reason, it's also there, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go back to my dashboard. So we are under contact. We can then next is go into the help center. Help center, you can ask anything. So, you know, destinations, for example. There we go, see? So it kind of goes through all the guest destinations, really straightforward, okay? They have a really good support center. I see a lot of different support centers and help centers for different tools and things like that. And StreamYard has a really good uh, support center if you ever need to check it out, okay? All right, let's go back into the dashboard. All right, StreamYard, account settings. Oops, my account. Let's go to referrals. Okay, so now we are past the help center. Let's go to partner resources. Uh, partner resources, this is someone that if you are uh, sharing StreamYard, if you need any templates or anything, monthly assets, all that stuff, overlays, timers, backgrounds, um, this is something that you can check out. Streamer templates is a really cool tool as well. So you can go and check them out. Uh, created by um, 
Nick and Dean Nimmin, I believe. So shout out to those guys. If you guys are watching, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, but yeah, you can go and check out those um, partner resources there. Okay. News. Uh, this is essentially StreamYard's blog. So you can kind of see all the new things that are coming up, any new features. Uh, you see that they are updating quite regularly three weeks ago, three days ago. So um, you can go and find all of that information there in the news section. If you see that there's a little blue dot, that means there's something new that you may not have read. Okay. Now, some, uh, some of the more legalistic stuff, legalish stuff here, you'll see the terms of service linked here. So if you ever are curious what the terms of service are for StreamYard, that's available there. And then also you can go to the privacy policy here uh, and see StreamYard's privacy policy, okay? Uh, and then lastly, you can log out. <laughs> so you can log out if you need to right there. Um, and then also I do wanna mention that you can always access StreamYard at the very bottom right on the, um, on the web browser by clicking on help right here, okay? Right beside me. Nope, the other way, right here, help, okay? So there you go. All right, so that's it. Really, really simple, very much high level, just walk through of the StreamYard dashboard. Um, I, it changes very little, which is really cool. It's very consistent. Once you click into certain things, then yes, there's always updates there happening pretty regularly. But in other videos here, we will go through the library, destinations, um, you know, the actual studio themselves, live streaming, recording, um, on-air webinar. Uh, we will be creating more of those videos and updating those as well. There's already a ton of those kind of videos and tutorials around StreamYard on this channel. Uh, but if you have any specific questions, let me know. And again, if you have not yet created an account um, for StreamYard, head over to the link in the description and uh, I'll be happy to, you'll see a link there where you can get started with a free trial. Uh, full transparency, that is an affiliate account or affiliate link. So you will be supporting this channel by using that link to set up your account. All right, so thanks again for watching. I hope you're doing well. Um, thanks for hanging out with me here and talking about StreamYard for a, little, for a little bit. And I will see you in the next video. All right, take care for now. Bye-bye.